Hi guys, as we said in the previous video, uh, in this video I'm going to do a step-by-step -step, uh, begin example that Transys already has and we're going to build it. Of course, I took the instructions from the documentation, I'm sure you're familiar with this, when you're getting started and then you redirect to this <coughs> PDF file and then in this section you're going to find the whole step-by-step -step example that we're doing. So we're just doing, I'm just doing a video of it, just because it's easier to follow and not to read all that stuff. So now, what you're going to do is go to the new empty transit project and then press create. Okay, so now we have an empty transit project. So what do we need here? What do we need? According to the PDF and the documentation, what do we have? We have a solar collector that collects radiation from the sun and warms up the water that is pumped through this pump so cold water comes in it warm, it's warmed up by the solar collector and then uh, if, if it's hot enough then it bypasses this auxiliary heater and goes directly to the house or if the water is still cold because there's not enough sun or because it's a very cloudy day then it goes through the auxiliary heater and the auxiliary heater warms up the water so we can still have domestic warm domestic hot water and uh, space heating for example if this is the use that we want to do so uh, we have to put some components right first of all we have to put the weather data the pump that's going to pump the water the solar collector that collects the radiation from the sun and then utilities like integrator, printer, plotter and of course the auxiliary here that is not mentioned here. So let's go and do that. First of all you can see that here we have all the components. Some of you may have less. I have more because of my project so you, I got it from my supervisor. I guess if you do a, a project you will also have something different. But it doesn't matter because we're going to do everything from the stock. What what comes with stock transits. So now we're going to go to the weather data, then to the standard format, search for metronorm files, open it, and then we're going to find this type 15-6. And we're going to click and import inside, click and drag. Now when you see, when you open this, you can see <coughs> Mm. you can see that we have a lot of parameters here like file type and you can always see like like file type 6 what the hell does that mean so you click on more and then you start reading the typo with the file with blah 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 you just you can get information about these numbers here and you can get informed input output this is extremely important when you're going to put in the solar collector because it's getting the information if there is sun or not the solar collector from the weather data. So what's next? What we need to do is to put the pump. It's a very essential. Uh, we're going to go to the hydronics folder, hydronics, then pumps, single speed, type 3D. Okay, what single from variable differ is that when you have a variable speed changing pump, it means that when there is a lot of sun, then I can pump more water, so that means in a higher speed, so that I can warm up more water and store it somewhere. But I guess that's more expensive and even in the simulation is more complicated. The next one is what else the solar collector so we're going to go in the solar thermal collectors in the quadratic efficiency collector second order incidence angle type 1b of course don't worry all these components are set inside here so i'm not just making this up or like i didn't know what to do i was just following the pictures and all these uh, arrows and everything taking notes and stuff so for now we have the pump 
the solar collector and the welded data. What else we need? We said that we need, of course, the auxiliary heating. So we're going to go in the in this folder and then auxiliary heaters type 6. Yeah. Okay. Of course, you know, like you can click, double click on the text and you can change it so it's more familiar and it's better to see. For example, we can put shortcuts like solar collector or weather data and all this kind of stuff I'm sure you're gonna find it on your own like whatever you or your project requires. Uh, okay, now we're done with all the important components. Now we're gonna go to the outputs. First of all, we're gonna go, we're gonna look up. Uh, we're gonna go to the utility. And then in the forcing in the forcing functions, and then general, and then click the type 14H and drag it in. This is the load file. This says how much load do we need of heat. So for example, if the solar collector produces warm water, if you can say so, then this file, this component here says how much of it, how much of this warm water that I can get from the solar collector or from the auxiliary I can I need to use. Um, next, we're going to need the online plotter, an integrator and a printer. Of course, we all have them told by transit, so we're going to go here in the output, then in the online plotter, then online plotter without a file, and then drag the type 65D inside here. This is going to show us the plots and then we're gonna go again on the output in the print integrator unformat it user defined period type 46a so now that we have all the components that we need then we're gonna do the connections between them here there's an important a very 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 important one note that it's always better to do the linking on components step by step. What do I mean by that? For example, now I have all my components that I need and now I'm going to do the linking. But this is not the right way. The right way is I do the linking right after I put, I drag them inside. So let's say if I put this one first and then I put the pump, I should directly connect them if they should be connected and stuff. So now that we have all the components ready, we're going to see in the next video about linking them and running the simulation.